Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. Yesterday, I posted that if you had ever tried to hide a file or a folder that maybe you wanted to keep private, we had a look at how you could do that on Windows 10 and 11, how to hide files and folders. Now, I'll leave a link to that video in the description, but just following on from that video, today we're going to have a look at how you can compress files and folders without using any third-party software on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And this can be a uh, particularly handy if maybe you are using a device that has limited storage space or maybe your drive is just getting full and um, your drive is, is uh, losing storage space due to large files and you just maybe want to compress some of those files and those folders to try and save some storage space. Now um, it goes without saying that if you have a device that has unlimited storage to some extent and um, this isn't going to be of use and also it's not advised to compress system files if you can help it because that can also to some extent slow down your system so to compress a file or a folder using windows 10 and windows 11 it's quite simple to do and i'm just going to head over to my file explorer for today's video and yeah i have i have a folder i've created and if i open that folder i have a video file and an image file which are the contents of that folder now, if we right click on that folder and we click on properties, in the properties menu, you will see that the size on disk is 8.50 megabytes. That's the size of that folder and the contents, and that's taking up 8.50 megabytes of storage on my hard drive. Now, um, just like yesterday, we're going to head down to the attributes uh, section um, in the general tab, and this time we're going to click on the advanced tab. And now you'll see compress or encrypt attributes and to compress uh, contents to save disk space we just click on that box and then you would click on OK apply and click on OK to apply uh, changes to this folder subfolders and files and that can take a second or two depending on the size of the file or the folder you are trying to compress if it is a very large uh, folder or file that could take a couple of seconds up to a couple of minutes and once that's done that you just click on OK and now if we head back to the folder, you can actually see it's been compressed by the two little arrows. And if we right click, head back to properties and um, in the properties menu, you will see now that the size on disk has been changed from 8.50 to 8.24. So it's saved a little bit of hard drive space, but nonetheless, when it does come to large files that can compress the files to some extent which can then free up quite a bit of disk space and um, if we just head back to the actual folder and we head to the contents if we head to the properties of each of those um yeah you'll see if i click on advanced in the attributes menu it has automatically compressed each of those files which i can uncompress or compress individually as well and then just to reverse the whole process and regain the um, original storage amount and the original storage uh, capacity we once again just right click head to properties head down to attributes click on advanced again uncheck compress contents to save disk space click on ok apply click on ok to apply changes to this folder subfolders and files that can take a couple of seconds once again to a couple of minutes depending on the size click on ok and now you can see if we head back to the folder the compressed arrows have been removed and if we right click head to properties uh, we have restored the original storage size on disk 8.50 and that's exactly what it was before that file and that folder was and those files in that folder were compressed so that's just a quick and easy way you can you can compress files and folders without using any third-party software on windows 10 and windows 11 to try and save some storage space so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one